guys, it's Constance with Charming Cuss Crafts here on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Hi! Yes, you think that I am limited to just all these other things. That, no, 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 no. I have started a whole bunch of new lines for everybody. And if you're watching, I have been posting everything. And I'm trying to get everything up so that I can get the prices up. And what I'm about to show you are all four masks. And what it is is basically just two masks, but I did... Uh, essential oils to best fit both sides of the lines here guys both sides of the line so it is the hydrating mask this is the hydrating mask for men and i'm just going to show let me show one bottle this is a hydrating mask for men and women okay and then of course this is what i'm calling the purifying mask for men and women on this side okay so it's probably going to be a little confusing so what i'm going to start with is the hydrating mask for men and this is i'm calling it never surrender and of course if you pay attention to anything i do i pick the essential oils on purpose um, to best fit your skin and for the properties for them um and for any promoters out there that want me to pay them because I keep getting notifications, please stop. Um, I don't need to pay somebody to promote me. If somebody wants to purchase my products, they can purchase them. I'm not gonna pay a promoter. Please stop. Um, anyway, um, these are essential oils that I pick to best fit first each other and complement each other, and second, so that they smell good together. That is by far literally the last real, well, I should say it's the last thing that I actually think of. But um, I put together uh, all the ingredients that best work for your skin. So this will probably like one of the top of the line masks that I did. So I thought, okay, I'm not gonna come out with my lower line mask. I'm gonna start with one of my top of the line masks that I'm going to make. So this, um, I don't know what you're gonna see on these is instead of doing a jar, I wanted to do something that would be easy for anybody to get any of the mask out. Uh, so I did a squeeze bottle, something that most people would probably never do. Um, uh, and a lot of people are gonna be like, why would you do that? Well, I know when it comes to jars, um, it's gonna be frustrating. And then it's frustrating to mix it up. I went ahead and I've already mixed it up. It has two preservatives in it. Um, so you don't have to worry about preserving it. It's already preserved. It's already got a seal on it. It actually has two seals on it. It's got the outside, so it actually has two seals on it. It has one seal around the top and one full seal here, and then it's got one seal on the inside. And if you notice, there is a spoon here. This spoon is to help you measure out exactly how much you need. If you want to use more, you can use more. If you want to use less, you use less, like if you just want to do your nose. Um, so that's what you're going to find on every single one of them. So that is a bonus. Sometimes you'll see two seals um, on my bottles, but I did use those seals. If by chance you notice that your mask is starting to dry, this is what I'm gonna suggest. You get distilled water, not regular tap water. Uh, I never recommend when you come to products to use anything but distilled water. For example, if the lip scrubs um, start to go a little dry, uh, I would recommend getting uh, maybe grapeseed oil, not anything else in your cabinet, or avocado oil. Uh, and maybe just put a teaspoon or a, two teaspoons in. Um, I don't recommend any other oil. Um, that's what I would recommend in, in li like lip scrub oil, or lip, scrub, uh, lip scrubs. So put in uh, extra oil, not water. Water would dissolve your scrubs. Um, but in this one, I would recommend when it starts to dry out, just add maybe uh, a teaspoon of distilled water and then shake it. Um, and then you can just, again, pour it into your spoon. Um, this is the reason why I did that. And then it's got a flip top. I thought of everything because if you get into a jar, then you have to sit and scrape. It's much easier to shake a bottle. I really thought things through on this. I, I really thought as a consumer, what would be better? Because uh, you get into powders, powders get all over the place. I've already mixed it, I mixed it, I beat it, I whipped it, I did everything I could. I made sure the preservatives were in there. I, I'm not gonna get into where obviously, you know, that I have uh, um, 
my polysorbates in here. So I'm going to tell you that it does already have the, these both already have, it has pink and white cannelling clay. It does have distilled water in it. And these both have oatmeal in it. They both have aloe vera in it. They both have lemon peel in it. They have sweet almond oil in it. They have avocado oil, in it. rose hip oil. And you've, if you've been watching and listening to me, rose hip oil is a very expensive little oil to get a little bottle of it. But it's also amazing for your face. Uh, rose water is amazing for your face if you can find. Now, good luck finding a reputable company that says it's actually real rose oil. Uh, make sure you check every single comment um, if you're looking for rose oil. Rose water, I mean. Uh, so this has got rose hip oil in it. Um, and again, if you see the other one, it is a vegetable uh, uh, preservative. I got two preservatives in it. It's got lemon peel. I think I already said that. It's got an inhibitor in it, which is also a, a vegetable inhibitor. The essential oils in this one, in the mail, is... Lavender, sandalwood, rose, and grapefruit. I cannot tell you how much this stuff is amazing, 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 amazing. Those, was it three? One, two, three, four. Four, uh, four essential oils is amazing for your skin, for cleaning, processing, um, and for antibacterial properties. Sandal, oh my God, sandalwood's amazing. But the smell is absolutely amazing. I actually test i went through and went, went through the properties on all of them sat down and i actually had 10 10 no wait it was 14 10 or no, 14 and i pulled out what i thought was masculine and feminine and then i pulled out what was best for uh at more of the more softer versus for hydrating versus on the properties i had to go through all the way down it was very confusing because uh, i ended up making too many i should have made so many uh test samples and then i went to like three neighbors and then we ended up narrowing it down to like six and then five and then um i actually kept my test samples because they were so amazing that i had to write down the properties on the one side for each one of them for future uses so this is how I ended up getting this one. This one, um, and I called it Never Surrender. Um, and it just, it's amazing. Oh my God. Uh, gentlemen, I cannot, uh, cannot tell you enough. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what these both actually do. They're just different scented. Okay, this one's more masculine. Um, just a little more masculine. But the properties, um, all the essential oils are slightly different but it has more of a masculine scent okay so i'm going to tell you what these both do this is what it is for all skin types especially for a little more for sensitive removes impurities and it's a it's an exfoliator it detox, detoxifies it keeps acne at bay reduces the skin risk of breakouts repairs damage enhances elasticity anti-aging effects reduces fine lines and wrinkles evens out skin tone may help with rashes skin irritation uh, let me go back all right where am i at hold on i'm reading my own words reduces the risk of breakout repairs Reduces the risk of breakouts, repairs skin damage, enhances electricity, anti-aging effects by reducing the fine lines and wrinkles. It, it evens out skin tones, helps with rashes, skin irritation, plus helps with topical skin conditions. Um, yeah, really can't ask much more for that. And um, in a, a mask. Um, you can use it to treat your mask at least i would tell you once a week maybe twice a week be careful how many times that you do a mask 
because it's not always good to do it too many times to your face. Um, you can use it up to three times a week. I recommend maybe twice a week. Um, I do tell you how to use it. Uh, basically what I did tell you is if it irritates your skin, please don't hesitate. Um, I use uh, true oatmeal, so it might be a little thicker than most people. This is why I said if you need to add a little more distilled water to it. Um, there are other oatmeals that I do use. Um, the uh, colonel oatmeal, which is a, more of a powdered oatmeal. In this case, when it came to the mask, I wanted to use true oatmeal um, so that you got more of a feeling of real oatmeal. Now, I do have samples. I will show you that shortly. Now, the next one, like I said, I have, this is hydrating. Is this a hydrating? Yeah, this is Never Surrender. This is Love Story. I named that one. I want to show you. I'm going to tell you what's in that one. I'm going to pull that one over. I want you to know what's in the love story. Let's see if I can pull it off of this. That's where the... Okay, see. This one has apricot, lavender. I know that's the oil. It's all the same. Has lavender, geranium, rose, and jasmine. Oh, ladies, you feel like you're in a field of heaven like somebody brought you. Like the most beautiful bouquet. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful. That's the reason why I called it Love Story. And it's kind of a romance thing for my neighbor. Uh, she was telling me about a story of how her and her husband met and how they got remarried. And so at the time, it just kind of fit. And she just, the moment she smelled that, she started telling me a story about how they met and then how they got remarried and blah, blah, blah. You know, it was just romantic. So thus how this one got its name. And all of those essential oils are just amazing. So, yes, ladies, that's how that one got its name. Now, I have on the opposite, that's that one. That's They're both candle and clay. I'm gonna stick that one way off to the side. Now, on this one, this one, let me pull it up. And if you're following me, I do have a lot of products. There we go. This one is what I'm calling the purifying. Shh. Uh-oh, daddy's home. This one I call the native sun. This one is what I'm calling send me an angel. This one is the charcoal turmeric. Okay. It is... Enhanced with charcoal and turmeric, and I'm going to tell you. Let me let me zoom it out, zoom it in. I'm going to use the other one. Let me leave this here. Pull up the men to probably be easier. Let me pull up that one. Easier to read the men. My husband's son just got back. Um, video and he didn't message me. Okay, so the. Charcoal turmeric is a fantastic combination. Gently made for skin, which is excessive oil buildup and infections. This also helps with removal of impurities, reduces breakouts, shrinks pores, is a de-stressor, it's an exfoliator, helps to detoxify, absorbs extra oils, anti-inflammatory, stimulates circulation, Reverses the signs of aging, repairs, fades scars, whitens, and evens out skin tone. Fades sun, age, dark spots. It removes dead skin cells, which is, trust me, that's really important when you have extra skin cells. Um, which is also what causes the buildup of cysts and acne. Um, enhances electricity, elasticity. 
helps with skin irritation and topical skin conditions. That would be like emphysema. Um, uh, replenishes moisture while removing harmful bacteria that could cause, again, acne and um, like cystic acne. Um, bring your skin back to your healthy balance, guys. This stuff is amazing. Um, and if you guys ever know, like, people that have, like, dark knuckles and then lighter skin, this will help with that. Um, it, but this is more for, like, your face when you have, like, one darker area of your face and a lighter area. Um, but that's what this will do. And, again, I do explain how you use the spoon uh, and then use it as a product. Uh, this is, again, pink and white chamomile clay, distilled water, activated charcoal, apple cider, turmeric, both of my um, uh, life extenders, of course, lemon peel powder, um, sweet almond oil, grape seed, rose hips, safflower oil, vitamin E, of course, apricot oil, my essential oils, and this is for this one, is lavender, geranium, lemongrass, patchouli, and bergamot. Um, and I called it native sun because it's very, um, and it's not like a tribal thing, though I can say that because I'm part crow. Um, so I have no problem saying that if I, if somebody ever want to catches me on that because I'm like a sixth crow or eighth crow. My mom's like a fourth crow and my grandfather was half crow, my, yeah, like a half crow. Um, so I have no problem saying that and you can verify that. I can verify that if anybody wants to pull that on me. Um, I am crow. So, and they don't say like half or whatever, but I'm crow, so. I can say that, but that's not the um, reason why I said that. It's like um, native to the land and then versus the sun. That's the reason why I wanted to call it that way. Um, so it, it's, it just, it's, just, it's just a nice, not earthy, but lively earth sun. It's just, it's nice and it's just a nice scent. If, again, if you know anything about bergamot and lemongrass and geranium and patchouli, it's just a beautiful scent. Um, and if you ever want to know what it smells like, I would recommend looking up what they actually smell like if you haven't smelled them before. And then uh, send me an angel. And I'm going to say right here, it's got lavender. Of course, you know, I love to use lavender because it's an antibacteria. And then the properties on that, lavender, geranium, yin-yang, and chamomile, and orange and then um yeah it's just it's a great combination and and you got to be careful when you use yin yang yin yang and um i always watch especially with tea tree patchouli and yin yang you got to be careful what you use with those you have to look up what works best with those you can't just mix those with that things and i get a kick out of people when they use those you can't just mix certain things with yin yang or tea tree um for those who do make all natural, you might want to be careful what you're mixing with what essential oil because they do not blend well together. As much as you might think they do, they don't, and the properties don't mix well together. Um, and I think that you guys might want to pay a little more attention to that. Um, I actually do my research on that prior to using it. Um, and it can actually harm the actual essential properties to them. Um, but anyway, those are your um, essential oils that are in it and your uh, mask. So I have, these are just three of each one of them. And then it's hard to put them all in the picture, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to try to stick them all in. And then, of course, I do have sampling, which the sampling technically, I guess, that I have here. And I'm only going to pull, like, maybe one out because I have big, fat bags of them. I'm going to pull out one of, like, each. They're the little pods, um, depending on what area of your face that you do, like, what... Okay, activated charcoal and turmeric. Um, and they are sealed. You can see this. It can maybe do your nose twice, your forehead, your chin, 
if you're trying to get rid of some blackheads. Depends on how much you use. And again, you can't tell it. It's not straight black black, and that's because of the turmeric that's in it. But, yeah, it's amazing stuff. So, there is all four, but technically two different masks. And that is that I did it to specifically match the hormone balanced of um, male versus female hormone. And please don't bite my head off for that. Um, but I'm just going by what is right in front of me. So, there you go. There's your four masks, two masks, and then your sampling.